Hey guys, we will have close look and theories behind 5.1 and 7.1. If you not subscribed please subscribe. So let's get started. The Linden, Lichtspiel, Cinema in Ilmenau, Germany, uses 192 speakers, and was designed around the concept that a sound wave can be recreated by a multiplicity of small sound sources placed closely adjacent to one another along the wavefront. Wave Field Synthesis WFS, is a spatial audio rendering technique, characterized by the creation of virtual acoustic environments. It produces artificial wave fronts synthesized by a large number of individually driven loudspeakers. Such wave fronts seem to originate from a virtual starting point, the virtual source or notional source. Contrary to traditional spatialization techniques such as stereo or surround sound, the localization of virtual sources in WFS does not depend on or change with the listener's position. Surround sound systems are, in general, not homogeneous. Since the location of sounds coming from the front is far more rigorously controlled than those coming from the rear surround area. In the case of a presentation of visual material on a TV screen, it is essential there is no lack of correspondence between what you are seeing and what you are listening to. A homogeneous sound reproduction system should be a coherent system in which the sound field remains stable. Even if the listener changes position within it, as a natural sound field does. And that was the idea behind creating multi-channel audio systems. Put the person in the center of the action, sort of speak, regardless of its position in the room. And obviously the more channels the better. Obviously, the more separate channels the system has, the more speakers you need the more space you need and the more expensive it gets for the consumer. So, the market offers different solutions from 5.1 to the Hamasaki 22.2 system, not the decision of someone you do not even know on the internet. The most important channels in surround sound are the three front channels, right, center, left, and the subs. The surround channels are there only to provide fill-in or ambient sound, to complete the surround sound effect. When engineers or designers want to save money, they scrimp on the surround channels, both on the speakers and the amplifiers. With the front and sub channels, the system can already achieve loud, clear reproduction of dialogue, center. Powerful stereo sound effects, left and right, and deep, loud, rumbling low frequency effects, sub. In other words, most of what you hear when watching a movie. The extra two channels in a 7.1 system adds more surround effects, like when an airplane whizzes behind you. But this can be reproduced almost just as well as the surround channels in a 5.1 system. Especially if they are placed just posterior and lateral to the listener. Also, for the added expense, the enhanced surround effect is really just a novelty, a bragging right. It doesn't add much to the experience. On the other hand, there is a very good reason. Why Dolby Atmos and DTSX have become very popular these days. The high channel not only makes height effects more realistic, but it actually contributes a lot to the experience. Its object based sound processing makes the speakers disappear. All you hear is a cohesive sound stage, with you at the center of the action. Granted, the higher end 5.1S could do this too, but 5.2.1 systems with Dolby Atmos encoding sound really good. So, if I were you, Instead of going for a 7.1 system, I would go for a 5.2.1 with Dolby Atmos or DTSX. To me, this is worth the upgrade. Both 5.1 and 7.1 surround sound are channel-based surround sound formats. 7.1 simply has two addition channels. Instead of one pair of channels driving both surround and rear sound effects, a 7.1 system breaks these effects into two pairs of channels. Surround, right and left, and rear surround right and left. As a result, you get a little more detail. I highly prefer 7.1 for the additional channels. That said, most AVRs, audio and video receivers, that support 7.1 or more channels also support Dolby's newer, far better, Atmos configuration. Dolby Atmos is a completely different technology that is object-based versus channel. As a result, you get huge depth of sound that a channel-based systems cannot provide. Much like traditional surround sound, Atmos is available in various configurations, the most common are 5.1.2, 5.1.4, 7.1.2, and 7.1.4. If using two subwoofers these would be 5.2.2, 5.2.4 and so on. Basically, 
A 5.1.4 Atmos system has 5 ear height, or close, speakers for left, right, center, surround left, and surround right. As well as 4 height speakers that help create where you hear objects in that listening plane. It's a really cool experience. Over both 5.1 and 7.1 surround sound. I highly recommend you utilize Dolby Atmos 5.1.2 or better. Dolby Atmos is already becoming the new standard. TV shows and streaming video movies will be either stereo or 5.1 channels. DVDs are 5.1 channels. The premium quality 7.1 audio, which is much more than just two more speakers, is found almost only on Blu-ray discs. All good new AVRs support 7.1 and several support even more channels. You can start out with a 5 speakers plus subwoofer, 5.1, and add the additional speakers later. The Blu-ray audio tracks sound better, even though I didn't buy the added speakers. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check the link below, and see the latest price of the product, also check whether you have an offer waiting for you. Also do some purchase from it so that, it will help to grow my channel and make more good videos for you. Don't forget to subscribe, so that you won't miss my next video. Also comment your opinion about my video, so that I can improve making my next video. Have a wonderful, day, evening or night, whichever part of the world you are from. This is Jason Peter, signing off.